get us a lot of pink class on team one but that should just tell you everything about the state of the game right now everybody on the mother is trying out paladin they recently got nerfed but they're still doing really really well Artem is going to be first up for Salathawaka. A bit of a rematch between the two as the dragon tried to see if he could fight the hunter while Artem is trying to see if he can get him maybe a new pair of boots with that dragon scale, dragon leather. Going to be going in for a bit of damage. Going to be a big old deep breath. Salathawaka mad. Disintegrate onto Artemis. Does go for a turtle, but the Disintegrate can. Once you attach the beam, it's going to keep channeling even while you're inside of the turtle. We got himself a little bit of DR while turtle's up. Big damage. Massive procs. Salathawaka got himself a little bit of a immunity to uh, interrupt for a second. Mad damage good procs artemis could be in a lot of trouble here try to see if they can maybe just get away from lad but this is burning right burning right through you oh got himself a living claim oh my goodness try to see if you go for a bit of a rooftop ball because maybe you want to be to position back behind that pillar as it's going to be team warlocks over for the team two i love the look of determination on the dome too looks great got beast of locks over for the team two we got ourselves bar in here as well as Tuni, got a lot of a lot of casters, man. This class, this warlock caster group, is just gonna have to see if they can fight through the pink class. Lathwalker is gonna be the first barrier to enter here. Got him to the immunity off the bat. Got a lot of demons chasing after him. Got to be immune to stuns for a second, mortal calls and fears, but he still can get interrupted by the main uh, Felgar pet, so you should be very, very careful. Trying to go for as much healing as he can, very limited on what he can really do. I think the pets are just going to take you out, trying to go for damage, but those pets with the imps and everything just ramps up over time. He just sustained. Nick gonna be up next. Full final wreck onto Diabolicus. Trying to see if he catch up to the Paladin. Gonna be Axos immediately. He's got himself a trinket. Big port for Diabolicus. Got himself long range to get himself out of dodge. Mortal onto Nick. Trying to see if he can force a bubble out of the Paladin. It is gonna be a bubble out of the Paladin before his health really dips in super, super low. Diabolicus with a bit of a dark bag to try to keep the Pally out in the open. Where the uh, Felgar, where the Tyrant could actually get a couple of big casts in here, if at all. And then it's going to be in front of all these pets kind of chasing back behind the pillar with Nick trying to see if he can chop him right up. Diabolical just kind of waiting it out for a little bit. Nick taking a bit of pressure back there. Could maybe go for a bit of recovery while dampening is only 10%. But that fell guard is actually going to do quite a lot of damage especially as dampening gets higher and higher that thing is just dropping right through you especially when it acts off you if you can interrupt you on your holy that could be really deadly demon dog is charging it as well nick is kind of limited to what he could really do may have to go for that blessing of protection or not seraphim what's it called spell warden i keep forgetting spell warden may have to use that here layer hands gonna use really really early trying to use the heals before the dampener really ramps up we're at the three minutes so the dampening is gonna start crawling little by little nick under a ton of pressure diabolicals could maybe just end him here does he have a tyrant does he have any more pets he does have the obelisk that you can place down nick protecting himself with a shield the vintage should give him a little bit extra buffer to work with diabolical shield getting broken through very very quickly got him to yet another port lots of ability for this warlock but i think he may be out of juice for a little bit here Unless they get himself like a mortal coal or something. More pets getting sent in. At this point, Nick is definitely going to have himself the Blessing Protection or Spell Warden available. Lots of pets surrounding him. Could be anyone's game right now. Diabolical trying to go for a little bit of a self heal. Does get himself soul burn with the Warlock Health and Spell Warden. But the pets. Oh, the Fell Guard. It does a lot of that physical damage. That's the beauty of a Demonology Warlock. A mix of physical and magical. Even though you're a caster, all your pets are doing all physical damage for here. Feltor trying to see if you can maybe ramp up a bit more damage to Diabolicals. Blasting him out. Diabolicals backing up out of there with a quick fear onto Fel for just a second. As he's trying to claw right back over to Diabolicals. But he's just super slowed. Bubble comes out as the Tyrant joins in. The Tyrant is going to make sure that these pets live a little bit longer. So the double Fel guard and everything should be active on you for a little bit longer than normal. Big Axel to the Feltor. Maybe going down here. Does have himself the big shield of Venice at the ready. But the pets just overpower it. The Tyrant just lasted there for quite a bit. My goodness. Looks like Diabolic is trying to see if he can fight through all these paladins one by one. Taking names, taking, <laughs> taking all these faces into the ground. Big port for Diabolicus Diabolic does get hit with a stun. It's going to be Trinket as he takes the portal. Error trying to see if he can maybe end the duel right there. Mortico sent in. Trinket's out of it. Interrupted Diabolicus. Nothing left. Diabolicus got nothing in the juice. With Bar going to be up next. Having to fight through all of these paladins. Having to cleave through for his team. Big hammer hanging over his head. Error back it up for a second. Does he have a trinket? No, he doesn't. Maybe a bubble situation potentially here. Does go in for the bubble as a big hammer slams down onto Bar. This is where Error needs to play super defensive. Shield Venice was used together with a bubble. So that is a lot of cooldowns like put together all at once. And Bar is just going to have to wet it out here a little bit longer. That's all he could really do in this situation. Stun to follow. Error trying to see if he can clash right through Bar. Can he do much here? Back it up out of the entirely instead. And Bar, big hammer hanging over his side. Does he play the hammer as well? 
He may be playing a hammer as well, but it's hard to tell. It actually does quite a bit of damage, even if with error doing just a little bit of damage, a little bit of judgment hammer pressure from a distance, that hammer can't really ramp up. Another hammer hanging over his head this time. Nothing left, the bar just cleaves him down before the hammer can slam. Var is up next, blinded immediately as the ways do come uh, pop back online with bar going in for a bit of a shoulder vengeance. Var also popping off defense as well. Maybe a big defensive cooldown right now for bar. Could be in a lot of trouble. Bubble is available. May just need to use it right now. No help whatsoever. Does it a bubble and as Var was hoping to maybe land one last global to take the man down. That is so rough. My goodness, and my music just kind of died here. Var trying to see if he can add Bar right here. He almost has him. He has him on the rope. Stun to follow Bar. I think might be done for the count. It looks like he's going to be going down as Var got himself a big old proc taking the man out of the game. My goodness, boys. Beastly up next. It's only a handful of castles left over for the team, too. Can they fight through? the paladin threat being warlocks they actually i think could be able to do something here especially with the line of sight they could do i mean that wrath guard, the fell guard look at the damage the thing does var is gonna have to start healing through this thing that fell guard eventually is gonna start ramping on you the dampen is gonna get to this critical point where you can no longer heal more than the fell guard can do damage to you. and eventually i think you go down I actually try to see if you can blast out the fell guard is it gonna kill it just burst it down BC is going to have to get in there with all the pets. He actually has his pets on passive. I think try to see if he can pull his main pet back, maybe. Blasting him with a big axe toss. Double second axe toss coming out with another pet. He needs to go for a big tyrant if at all possible. Maybe he can go for a big tyrant. Does summon up a big tyrant. All the pets are empowered. Lots of extra damage. Obelisk is down. Var does not take it out. Has a bubble. Will want to bubble early. Does bubble early before the demon dog is charged in. You want to bubble early to make sure that you have plenty of health to work with. Sometimes you want to bubble late. But generally you want to bubble early or as early as possible not too early once you force cooldowns on an enemy bubble set that immunity let the cooldowns gotta do nothing and then you want to make sure you're actually plenty safe plenty healthy gonna be shielded up for beastly bar does use a doesn't break out of that stun fairly quickly i guess it was dr heavily more demon dog is charging in bc just trying to see if he can waddle out of there all the demons get set up of var as he goes in for the big wake of ashes combo as bc just continues to send in more vile fiends over there and var is actually feeling the pressure blind roll these pets lay on hands in order to keep himself topped off bc using mobility just walking away just trying to see if he can get proactive here more to call sending var out in the open field to lock him down for a second the pets might just do it var could be going down here axe doesn't think it's over and man goes down the warlocks the team castles in the palace in, do end up defeating the paladino threat with diabolicals just dominating these paladins with the might of the burning legion if you played a legion and you remember that one scene with a uther and a big old red demon that just basically crushed him yeah that's basically essentially what happened diabolicals might as well summon that guy